everyone. It's me, Laura, from The Paper Soul. Um, a few days ago, I showed this journal, um, Always Blooming, and I showed that I had this one that I was almost done with the finishing touches, and um, so I finally finished them up. I thought I was going to get it done the very next day, but that didn't pan out, but that's okay. Um, I really enjoyed working on <laughs> these journals. They're so pretty together as this just really pretty set. And I uh, created them from the uh, kit from Elsie Bell's bookshelf called Grunge Garden. And so this one was my, um, you know, the project, design team project. But uh, like I say, I loved it so much I wanted to make another one. And I called this one Always Blooming and this one is Forever Blooming. I had it as Beautiful Blooms, but I changed the name because I thought, oh, that, that would work better. So they are a little different slightly, but they have pretty much the same chemistry formula, I should say, formula, not chemistry, formula to it. Uh, but some of the papers are changed around um, and some of the elements are slightly different. But anyway, um, it was a, a eight and a half by five and three quarters. That's what they are. Um, they're a fall folder. I've done sewing. Um, all over throughout this these journals I've done sewing. I'm going to show you, I did add a couple of things to this one, um, and I went on and did it to this one too, that I did not have on before, and it's the inside covers. I added some pockets elements, and I just wanted to show that. <clears throat> um, so let me just uh, go ahead and show you this one, what I changed. So if you look at my last video, I added a pocket, a corner pocket, and um, this this tag, and then on the back, I added a little pocket, and then these two little tags. Also, I didn't show, and I'll show it in the one of today, this is like a little pocket here um, on this quote, and um, I put like a little tag, a couple of little tags I made with some twine. It's actually rose gold metallic twine, but I didn't let you know that that was a pocket, and I didn't let you know that opens up for journaling, and then, oops, gotta take the tags out, and then that one opens up also. Um, and I did not show that when I was showing this one, so I wanted to go back and do that. So, anyway, I'm gonna set that one aside, and we'll, we'll let you just breeze through this one. Um, Let's see, this one was a little different uh, picture on the front. And um, the closure is attached underneath. There's the back, just nice and pretty. This is fabric covered as well and uh, sewed all around. So I went on and put a pocket here in the front um, and then added a big old journaling card. And those are some of the, just the, I'm just gonna flip through this one because I did have a, uh, like I say, the last um, video I did, I showed all the all the details. Um, there's hand crochet here all, directly onto this page that I did. Um, got my stamping in here, I've got edge punching, got a little rickrack tab here. Uh, got a, like a little tag I made there from her papers, envelope. This flips open, you can put something behind those bag, this bag and then tuck something in that bag. I have a paint chip here. This one's a little different, slightly different color than the other one, but it works with these pages. And here's that element with the, the little tags that I made and uh, that pretty quote, nothing is more completely the child of art than a garden. I love that quote. So that flips up and then that flips up for writing. And then I made this um, tag, and I ha do have a video of how I made this tag. Um, got washi tape on the back and some stenciling. That was a lot of fun to make, so you can check that out. Then I have some good journaling space here. Here I have a little bingo stamp that I made where you can have some extra journaling space and I've got a pocket on the back with some extra paper 
little washi tape there and I just have it tucked in here kind of like that here's a pretty tag from her kit got it backed with um, the uh, graph paper grid paper this is an envelope from her kit and it's just really cute so I just draped it over here and I have closed that particular envelope so <clears throat> you can put some things in it put some pictures there you can even journal all over this in the other one I believe I had I formed a pocket but this one I kept open so you can just do a lot of journaling there or you can turn it into a pocket if you want to this is another beautiful tag that I made and I have zigzag and straight line stitching all around it I've got the B stamped on here Here's a, um, I believe the tag in this other one on this page is a little different, but huge journaling tag, journaling all there. I've got a little quote here. A flower does, a flower does not think of competing with the flower next to it, it just blooms. And I've done some stenciling inside of that, so I've got a little tuck there. And on this side, I have a little booklet of extra papers that I made with a bright, kind of a bright yellow there just to kind of make it pop, and it's just like, like a little pocket right there. Isn't that pretty? This, the papers in this kit are absolutely beautiful. Just so vibrant, purples, blues, deep blues, some teal, pretty teal green, um, lilacs, lavenders, um, violets, just gorgeous colors. Um, and then here's a pretty little tag there from her kit. It's a pretty flower. A little B stamp, some edge punching. This is a little tuck here. You can put something under that. And I just put stamped out notes and put a little flower there. Isn't that gorgeous? The violets on those leaves and berries are so pretty. And I like the ledger look that she has. The, this is an overlay. Um, so I just paper clipped it on. And basically I put my pretty little quote there, gardens are poems where you stroll with your hands in your pockets. I love that little quote, did some edge punching and it's just an off cut piece of paper that you can do for journaling and so I the way I folded it, you could do an overlay over the page and it decorates this page and then this side of the page and then I have another tag here from her kit that I turned into a, well, I turned it into a journal card there and sewed around it. This is one I created from her papers. And I've got my little fussy cut uh, section that I created from her papers. You're always a welcome guest in my garden. And I put that as the paper soul that was, came to me when I was making another journal a while back and maybe the one before this one. And I, when I was doing this, I thought you, that would be a neat little quote. It may be a quote from someone else and I don't know, but I just know it came to me when I was working on this guest check. And I decoupaged that and sewed all around it. Here's a little bingo that I stamped and this flips up for more journaling. Little tuck here with one of her pretty tags and her envelope in the kit. Um, so that opens up and you can put store some things in that pretty envelope. This is one of her pretty line papers. So you can do some journaling, journal all over that. Here's the center of the signature, and I put little bees front and back, so they're on both sides, and uh, they're just hanging from the string there, flying around these flowers. This is another overlay that I did, and I created it from her papers. And I've got some extra fun little different variety of papers in that, and you can just Pop that, I've tied it together like a signature with some purple string, got a little stamping down there. Here's another pretty tag that I made from her, from her papers. Here's some extra paper here that matches and will be really pretty for some journaling there. And then I made some little 3D butterflies. I stamped them with some fun little words for my stamps and then Stickles are on their antennas. Here I have like my library card. Um, and I use that as a journaling spot. And then 
I made a tag from her papers again. I journal on that. And this tucks uh, under this little bingo flower here. I've got little, uh, that pretty little green eyelash trim, just a little bit of that and some bling in here. I have stenciled it, it opens up. You can do journaling on that. And you just kind of tuck each side underneath to kind of keep it closed. And uh, then again, like you say, you can put more things up under behind that envelope. Look at that pretty image. This flips out, more journaling space. Got a nice little pocket here with a pretty tag. Did a little background stamping there, more pretty paper. All the, my papers are coffee dyed, pretty much. There may be a few that are not, but for the majority of this kit and this journal, they are. And here I have um, a little side pocket with this little bingo stamp that I made that. And then I have like a little piece of paper here for extra journaling. And I put a little, little bird stamp on that tag. And I just kind of let him peek out like that. This flips open for more journaling space. On the back here, I made a tag out of some of my pattern paper. How lovely the silence of growing things. I love that. How lovely the silence of growing things. When you think about it, it is quiet. They don't make noise. All oh, that pretty, oh, gosh, that's gorgeous. I love, isn't that pretty? And then a pretty little dragonfly there. Like I said, I've done stitching all around. The majority of my elements, I've done sewing. They're sewing around all these tags. I did some stenciling here also. Made a little, um, just a little pocket on this index card and did some stenciling on it. Had a little extra piece of paper for journaling that I stuck in there. And this was uh, one of her belly bands and I cut the belly bands up and made little tags out of them. So I could put that behind there so you can see the pretty flower. Pretty there with that um, pink paper. I've got like a little bit of rick rack that I hand dyed. Just wanted, thought the top of that page needed something. Did some stamping down here, but lots of nice journaling space. There's a little pocket there. Did some stenciling. And I just cut up some of her paper just for real pretty. And you can do whatever you want to. You can do a little journaling on here. You could, um, if it, you could cut it and make more tags if you want to. Just whatever you want to do. Here's another little uh, overlay booklet that I made. So I have extra paper. And then on the back I made a pocket. And here's the other part of that belly band that I cut up. So I made a tag out of that. And then this was one of the elements in her kit. And I backed it with coffee dyed paper so it would be a little sturdy. And tucked that in there. And I just overlay that. There are like 72 pages front and back to this journal. Lots of elements, lots of sewing, um, like I said. So there's a, there's a lot of work in it. And this is a chunky, um, I think that's good. It's a, it's a really chunky journal. So there's a, there's a lot of journaling space, but also a lot of elements to enjoy. I did uh, more stenciling there in that pretty. My son has kind of been a little hard to gauge today, so I hope it's not distracting. Um, let's see if I can close that up a little bit. Oh, 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 oh. There you go. That might be a little better. Got a little Rick Rack tab on that piece of paper there. And I did a different kind of crochet on this edge, just having fun and experimenting. It's got like little peaks to it, like little triangles with some stamping. And this is uh, another envelope from her kit. And I folded it up and it's ready to go to have something in there. This is a belly band and it flips open so that you can do some journaling in there. And then I made this little tag, just did some stamping and stenciling on it. And it just tucks up under there. And I take the envelope part, the top of it, and I lost my that's my paper clip. I will find it later. <laughs> All right. Oh, there it is. I'll fix that later. 
And then stamping, pretty page for the kit. I love the little bingo backgrounds and the overlay of this is just beautiful, beautiful images, images she did. And then this is the um, more of a grid paper background and then those on the border, just so pretty. So I did add a little pocket here and here I, I'm trying to use my washi tapes up. So what I did is just uh, put washi on that and you can just peel it back really carefully. Try not to press it down. And then you can open this up and have a little more space uh, for journaling. And then I just try to put that down real gentle. Just barely, just barely tuck it there so that it'll hold. And then that was, so that was your back. I like the layers of the different um, graph papers, different size graph papers that I use. Um, so I like the look of that there. But I felt like they, they definitely needed something inside the covers. Um, a lot of times I, I don't when there is a lot of, um, a lot going on in these journals already, but I just felt like they needed something and thought whoever might get these might enjoy having um, pockets, you know, on the front inside covers. Um, these are for sale in my uh, shop and uh, in my Etsy shop and um, I'm doing free shipping on them so wh whatever the price is you see that's the price there's no additional shipping to it um, so and I failed to mention that in my last video that this was for sale and now this one's for sale as well so be sure to check that out um, also going to put the link to um, Elsie Bell's bookshelf the, the digital kit for this is Grunge Garden, and she's got a lot of kits out there, so take a look at what she's got. She's just been really working hard, and um, I'll put her link down below so that you can maybe take a look at this kit in case you're interested in making something with it. Um, she also offers print and ship options, so if you don't feel like doing the printing yourself, she can do it for you and, and send it to you. Well, anyway, I'm sorry for the delay, and I hope you've enjoyed these journals. I have really enjoyed making them. I have bling here in my flowers, but I've really enjoyed making these. They are just, um, the colors are so delightful to work with. So, maybe you can pick this kit up and enjoy making something for yourself as well. And if you'd like, again, check out my Etsy shop and see if you might want one of these journals. They would make a wonderful gift too. Thank you everyone. Take care. Bye.